Hi, sunshine. Welcome back to our channel, Mac Girls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And I'm tell them what's going down in this video today. What's going down in this video today is, first of all, this was your idea. It was my idea. It's a comparison video because you guys seem to like comparisons. And I do too. And I was curious. The curiosity arose just this past Christmas when literally through the month of December, I got onto the Allocate Naturals line and fell in love with this moisturizing black soap and absolutely loved it. Then towards the end of the season, Sotanicals sent a, shall we say, a package of love <laughs> to us. And in the package was this. This is their apple cider vinegar and it says and aloe um, gel, okay? But it's their clarifying shampoo. This is considered, a, they're clarifying for Allocate Naturals, the black, uh, the moisturizing black soap. And this ACV is clarifying for Sotanicals. They look very similar. And I just kind of wanted to compare the two online. We've never done a video where we've washed our hair online since it was like kind of like my creation today. And I'm like, I like comparisons. And I was, I went so heavy on this one, touched on this one when we got it, but love it just as much equally. So I'm not really here to decide for you. I'm just here to show you the details of each one, what each one brings, you know, the measurements, the price, how accessible are they, the color, the smell, all that and then you guys make up your mind because we're all product junkies on this channel pretty much and so when you're like well which one should i get you kind of decide for yourselves i'm not here to really tell you which one to get i'm just showing you the two that i equally like i'll reach for one one day i'll reach for this other one the other day i can't decide i don't want to decide i like them both they're both here and i use them both but i just kind of want to show you the details one is by sotanicals this one here and this one is by allocate naturals and i use them both love them both and I just want to kind of show you the details. Yeah, so you'll be doing the demo. I'll be doing the demo. And I will be here bringing the information. <laughs> yeah, you'll be giving the details, you know, um, the price, the size, all the sizes that are available. And I will, for the first time on the channel, be kind of like shampooing, washing my hair. And that's as far as it will go. Like, I'll show you how I'll put it in. I love the little spouts on each one, how it goes into the scalp, how I lather it, which one lathers. You'll see the lathering process. And then I will rinse it out, come back. And just kind of like finish up the video but as far as styling and all that that's not the point of the video the video is i saw a word today deets it's deets details details yeah, just to bring you guys the deets <laughs> i love it d-e-e-t-s yeah <laughs> the deets yeah that's details okay so that's all it's just seriously bringing you guys the details of each shampoo and then you guys decide so that's as far as it will go there'll be no styling it's just discussing these two clarifying shampoos. Okay. Okay. So if you want to hear about these two clarifying shampoos, these two different ones, mm -hmm. their similarities, their differences, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. Okay. So we are starting, not we, you are starting with mm -hmm. Allocate Naturals. The Allocate Naturals, we thought we'd do it one at a time. Yeah. And you're doing it to the Allocate Naturals one, the moisturizing black soap. Yeah. And that's going to be on your right side, their left side. It's going to be my right, right here, my right side, and probably to you, it's your left side. Their left, yeah. Yeah. And so, again, we thought about it. We're like, I bet you they're going to say, I wonder how it would have worked in Taylor Ann's head. And, and I said, it's not about the hair, porosity, the length and all that. It's just the details of each product. So I think it could work on my Margaret Ted, whoever knows Margaret, okay? Who knows Margaret? Put down who Margaret is, okay? <laughs> in the comments, okay? It could work on Margaret Ted. It's not about the yeah. person. And when these came in, you tried them and you really liked it. And yeah. we didn't have a lot. So sometimes when like products come in and one of us really likes it, like the other one won't really touch it. So I yeah. really did not dive into these two products at all. Yeah. Um, and it's funny, unless we're doing a complete line, when we shampoo our hair for a video, we will pick what we love. And I, what I will pick, since I've been picking recently, since December, I've been picking any of these two, okay, to use. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Equally, I'll just grab one, whatever's available, whatever I have, whatever I can reach my hand on. So these are my shampoos du jour, shampoos of the month. I just I just love them, okay? Yeah. So and let's talk so, about the packaging really quick. So this is yeah. a eight ounce container, eight ounce bottle, but... Uh, the moisturizing black soap comes in different sizes on the Allocate website. You said it comes in the travel size, which is five ounces. And no, the travel size is five ninety nine, and it's two ounces. Oh, okay. So it's okay. So two ounces. Two ounces. Yeah. And then it also then you also have the sixteen ounce. The sixteen ounce. And that's twenty ninety nine. And then and this then eight ounce one is what is, is twelve ninety nine. Yeah, yep. on their website. So you yeah. actually have both. I'll give you this one. Okay. And I'll talk. I from literally this one. dug this one out the garbage because after we did our empties video, everything went to um, garbage. 
slash recycling bin okay but i went out there today just in time okay to grab it out and rinsed it out and i'm like okay i think i do need the eight ounce somebody said that because of my difficulty with my hands and everything use smaller sizes so i'm like yeah that's that's pretty cool thank you for the reminder so when you get in the shower you just wet your hair i just wet my and hair and then you go in yep Okay. So my hair is pretty wet now, and so this is what I would do. I love this, this little spout. Um, any of the other ones in the past I've used, because there have been co-washes, I would use the squirt or tubes or whatever. But I kind of like this whole idea of applying because it says, what are the directions? Apply to the root and then like lather it down. It says wet hair, then apply shampoo directly to the scalp, mm -hmm. gently massage and scrub. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. Repeat if desired. Yeah, but I always have such good stuff in it. So I don't know. I just kind of like yeah. to shake it up. I'm sure at this point I would have inserted the ingredients. If not, I'll be inserting the ingredients so you can see. So the how I do are. it is watery. So it's going to, I don't, this is, I'm not going to show any more than this, but it is very watery. Like water, it's dripping. So I don't want to waste a whole lot. I'm just going to show you it in the shower. This is what I do. I take it to my scalp and you will see right there. You can start seeing the lather. Okay. And so that's lathers. very little bit. And this is what I do. I just take it and put it to my yeah. root. They say on the container, they said there's no artificial artificial thickening agents added. So it says, don't be fooled by the watery form. The shampoo gets the job done. Yes, I am not so fooled by that. I think lathered. I cannot stress that enough about how I'm just so fascinated by the fact that it's so lightweight. And to me, it is very liquidy and very watery. And I'm just astounded by what it does. I've just... So it has slipped. It has slip, it cleans, and oh my gosh, talk about moisture. Okay, so all I'm doing, you're not going to see it because it's going straight to my scalp. I like that. And then the lather, it lathers so much, I just bring it on down. Which they say is important for shampoos anyway. Like it's meant for the scalp to clean your scalp, and then everything else kind of is supposed to rinse, yes. like rinse, it's supposed to kind of come down the rest of your head. Yeah. And clean that off. So... For the moisturizing black soap, it says it's for all hair types, kinky, curly, wavy, straight. That's on all of the Allocay Naturals packaging. Yes. And that not all of them. Like, this one works well, for I mean, all the hair well, types. Well, yes. it lets you know yes. on the Allocay Naturals packaging. And some, they'll specify, maybe one little circle will be missing on another product that may not work for all hair types. So, um, those have all four. It works for, what does it say? Kinky, Wh curly, yeah. wavy, and straight. Okay. I thought that was interesting that they have straight on there. Yeah. Um, this is sulfate free, it contains natural ingredients, and it says its featured ingredients are cocoa seed powder, plantain skins, and tea tree oil. It has such a mild smell, you almost get a whiff of apple cider. Okay, um, you said it has tea tree, did you say? Mm hmm. Okay. So it does the trick. Tea tree oil. I love tea tree and oil. And as quick as it lathers is as quick as you know, you don't see it anymore. So you're not like, don't think you're just going to get a big puff of lather and um, it's just going to stay there. I like the fact that it dissipates. You see it and then you don't. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. You've seen it, you feel it, you hear the noise, the, the crunch of the shampoo. Okay. And so where can you get it at? Only online, right? I've seen it online. Seen it online. I've only seen it online. I wish I could go into the store and get it. I have not seen it in the store yet. Has anyone seen it in the store? Has anyone looked for it? But I have not seen it. I know they sell some of their products in the store. The lather. Mm, you're shampooing your hair. <laughs> on, oh, camera. on camera. On camera. The lather. Okay. One day, guys, we'll have a setup where we'll be in a fabulous house in a bathroom with this. And these days. Right? In a set of amazing bathrooms. I know. Yeah. Okay. So this side, I would consider done. So how much did you have to use? Because it's watery. It's so very watery. For $12.99 plus shipping, like how yeah. much... They said I, use it on a weekly basis to oh get the really? best results, a weekly basis. We so. film like maybe three or four videos a week and I use it unless we're doing a whole line. I use it We do, that. but we don't wash our hair three or four times a week. Just um, so people know. We don't wash. Well, I, well we don't. Um, you, if we're doing a Tops long. like twice, okay. but you might do more yeah. than I do. Yeah, yeah, as far as um, washing our hair goes. Okay, so I took my big one here. Um, I had an, another one and poured it into here. And it didn't reach, reach all the way to the top, but it reached close. So I didn't use that much. A lot of this is uh, bubbles. It's foam. In foam. foam. So I don't think I use that much. I tend to, I have to admit, be a little heavy-handed because of the consistency. You almost can't help yourself. And I just, I just love putting it in my hair. I just love the experience. But I think that I was very... 
I was liberal, but not overly so. I just wanted to show you. And so, but you're not putting it on that side? No. So, no. before we move on, when you when you rinse it out, mm -hmm. how clean is, does your hair feel? My hair feels very clean. And what I can't get over, and what I want you guys to feel, if you get this, is the moisture. The moisture is unbelievable. It's unmatched compared to, to me, to any co-wash, to any shampoo on the market yet. Aside from, it's competition to me. Like, they're both competitive in my house and I can't make up my mind. So I'm not here, as I said, to make up my mind or make up your mind. I'm just showing you if you want to decide which one and maybe you might have to get both for yourself to see, but um, I have both. And, um, and so I'm just showing you my experience and why I'm just so in awe of both of them equally. So, so. All right. Yep. So, so yep. So I'm all done on the on. side. You yeah. see, there's not like a whole bunch of lather. It doesn't require all that. It's gotten the job done. My hair is clean on this side. Mm -hmm. So now moving on to this side, which would be my left, maybe your right. And I'm going to do sultanicals now. The sultanicals, ACV, anti-frizz, cuticle vitalizer, clarifying hair slash scalp poo with apple cider vinegar and aloe gel. Okay. So again, this is, these two are the same size. So this is eight ounces. Okay. Same type of spout here. And Packaging is pretty. It it's is. very like colorful and like tropical kind mm -hmm. of. And it's brown and I didn't know what the color was until I think I demonstrated or showed you guys on a video. And it is brown when I pour it out. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'll be inserting the ingredients again. Okay. There you go. So the botanicals. And how much did you say this goes for? Did you say six? Sixteen dollars. Okay, for the flat, size. and that is the only size that they offer on okay. the Sultanicals website. Which again, this is um, a product you can get online as well. Sultanicals you can find in the store, like certain products, but I don't believe this is one of them. No. This is not one of them you can find in stores. Yeah, you're starting to see some things, but um, just probably they're very popular, yeah. like the knot sauce and things like that. But um, can't believe it's not butter. Those kind of like really popular ones you can see, but some of the um, exotic -y kind of ones, like I wish, the like the healthy things. hair one, like yeah. the one that was like carrot, um, the color of carrots, it's orange, it's reddish, the healthy hair, I love that. I can't find that in the store. Mm -hmm. And just certain ones you can't find in the store. Afrotastic, I'm sure it's in the store somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. This is Sultanicals. Starting with the texture. Starting with the texture. I could pour out more than I could, oh, I see that? It's like a syrup, it's like a serum. Okay, so the color is distinctly brown, and it's like a serum. Mm -hmm. How does it smell? And it, it smells like Sotanicals smells that, to be honest, it's not that pleasant, but I move past that. Um, I give things, I overlook some things in some brands and other things I, I'm harder on brands for. This, I'm not, the smell is not pleasant, um, and it doesn't linger, so I don't care. I feel like this unpleasant smell that you kind of get like with your rice tonic, and their rice shampoo and all that they're not pleasant but they get the job done so whatever it is whatever the magic is that makes these products work i yeah. kind of have to put up with these kind of weird I mean, smells apple cider vinegar period is i don't like the smell of apple cider yeah. vinegar so i mean is this is an acv rinse so um yeah. i know because yeah. i made my own kind of thing and i didn't care for it at all you said the whole upstairs smelled like that and that was with yeah the, um, i was like geez mom which one was that 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 organic one that's almost done in that yellow bottle. Yeah, that organic apple cider vinegar. Yeah. And that was so I'll insert the ingredients. There really aren't that many of them. Um, the ingredients look good, uh, but I'll let you all be the And judge. again, the idea is for the details of these products. So that's why you're not going to do a whole head of hair getting everything wet because it's not necessary because mm -hmm. I can show the details on my short hair. That's the benefit now of the short hair on this channel. I can do things much quicker. Okay, so you saw the texture. Now I'm going to do, as I did on the other side, just strictly to the root, to the scalp. Ooh, okay. okay. Hi, Lather. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, you see that, guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm taking so that, it. Does that have more lather? I feel like, yep. Yeah, it's that, showing, it's that has lather. It's right there. It's proving that it has lather. And it, obviously, it's a lather that hangs around. So if you're into lather, yep. then so this, this one says apply to wet hair, massage the hair and scalp to break up dirt and debris, and yep. then you rinse. And it says you can apply shampoo a second time to massage longer to stimulate blood flow to scalp and hair. Rinse again, and then it says follow with our conditioners. And when products say that, I don't necessarily do that. I feel that that is just um, a brand trying to get my mani. Okay, mm -hmm. I can, it takes me one time to shampoo my hair. I don't need to rinse and do it again. To me, that's um, overkill. Another rinse, repeat. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't need to repeat. I used to when I didn't know better, but when you know better, 
you do better. And I don't need to do it twice. I know what my hair needs. So it says it deeply cleanses, mm -hmm. refreshes, and removes buildup of overworked strands. Also lays the cuticle down, leaving you with smooth, frizz-free strands. Apple cider vinegar nourishes the hair and scalp and increases the activity of... Oh, Lord. <laughs> Seba something? Oh, Seba. Uh, oh, Sabora. Is it S E B? Um, wait, hold on. How do you spell it? S E B A C E O U S. Sebaceous? Sebaceous. There we go. Sebaceous. Sebaceous gland? Yes. That's like sebaceous sweat. Like, is it, is it, oh, it's that gl glistening gland. Glistening? Land. Okay. Like Aerie said it's glistening. We don't, we don't sweat on this channel. We glisten. We glisten. <laughs> to flush out debris, excess buildup, and unhealthy bacteria. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see, guys, that this lathers and the lather stays. Yes, it does. Now, they both are clarifying shampoos. The other one words it differently, where it says it removes product buildup, whereas this one actually calls it a clarifying shampoo. Yes. But they both are distinctly clarifying shampoos. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one leaves the soapy lather. That's neither here nor there, neither, neither good nor bad. It's not drying in any way, shape, or form just because it lathers mm -hmm. more. Sometimes you think lather, oh my go goodness, drying shampoo. Not right. at all. Not at all. As a matter of fact, I like the fact that it has aloe vera gel in it. Yeah. Okay. So again, applying to the scalp. So the textures are different. The smells are different. Yes. The prices are different. Um, now this one The ingredients me, are different has a richer smell of apple cider. You get away from that kind of odd, weird smell that I didn't too much care for, and now you just kind of smell maybe the second note as I'm getting into all these fragrance notes now. Mm -hmm. You smell very strong. It reminds you of the fall, apple cider. Yes, I, it doesn't smell unpleasant from no. here. If you stick your nose in there, it smells like a little weird, but like yes. on your head, it, it smells doesn't. pleasant. Apple cider fall, right? Yes, yes, yes definitely like smells. Like you're at like almost cider. like a a fall party like yeah. a halloween party but like a of. pleasant smell of apple yes. cider because apple cider like can smell weird but yes. this smells like sweet apple cider and sometimes it's okay if it doesn't like work its way down it's all right i will take my hair and just do like something like this i mean it's your hair do what you need to do okay so if i want more lather on the longer strands except they do say when shampooing you're not supposed to like go in circular motions and bunch up because your hair will tangle but yes but because my hair is short now like i do find do myself that. having that luxury again when my hair was longer you guys know i did not do that but because my tangles are easily removed because of the length i find myself doing that again that's the benefit of the short hair yeah okay so the moisturizing black soap, the Alake Naturals one, doesn't have um, apple cider vinegar in it. So even though it's like a clarifying shampoo, it doesn't claim to be like an ACV rinse. So that's another difference. That That's more like an ACV rinse. This is like a different type of clarifier. I believe because of like the tea tree oil okay. or something. Like I know when I get pimples, I put tea tree oil on it and it will like burn it off my face. Like it gets rid of it, like clears my face up. I love using tea tree oil on my face. Yeah, I love the smell of it. Tea tree oil? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, really? I do. Like pure tea tree oil, like is strong. Like it'll open up all your sinuses. I was using it as a toner one time. Wrong thing to do. I overdid it. It did so good on one little bump. And then I took the whole thing, put on a cotton swab, and did my face <laughs> just was, oh my gosh. Oh my it blew gosh. up. It just, it. then it got hard, like... Probably to do that, you have to like wa put water in it. Because yes. I don't do that. Like I'll mix it with a moisturizer and like some water and like thin it out. But to just put pure tea tree oil all over your face. Then it got very hard and then it started peeling away. Almost like a whole like leather. Like like a chemical peel. Yep, I overdid it. Okay. It was too late, girl. It was too late. So. Matt Curls merch. <laughs> right. All right, guys. So there we have it. Both sides. This is the sotanical side. Let me clip this up. And this is the... Alkay natural side, both with your clarifying shampoos. This lathers more, but in my opinion, it does not mean that it's clean anymore. This did not, though initially it does. And to me, they're equally clean and they equally feel moisturized, like I've never seen anything before. You can detangle with both? Absolutely, yeah. So now I'm going to go rinse this out and come back and just finish this up with you guys. Okay. Okay. Be right back. All right. And we are okay. back. And we are back. You rinsed out your product. I rinsed it out. I ate some <laughs> bread and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Snacking okay. in between takes. And so, 
no difference. I mean, they both are equally cleansed. They both feel to me equally the same. They both feel extremely moisturized. This, once again, is the LK Naturals Black Soap, Moisturizing Black Soap side. This is the Sotanicals ACB side. And I just kind of want to show you the texture, the smell, the price, the sizes that they're available in, mm -hmm. and what they do for your hair. Yeah. They both are considered clarifying shampoo, even though Sotanicals actually says clarifying. This one says to remove product buildup, which in essence is a clarifying shampoo. Yeah. I like them both. And it's good to clarify. Um, and yes. I know sometimes I steer away from clarifiers because I think, oh my gosh, my hair is about to be stripped, about mm -hmm. to feel like hay. And um, so you know. for clarifying shampoos, like your hair looks really good. Yeah. And you rave about them. I do. So, and, um, so basically this video was kind of like, like all about these shampoos because I always say like wash day starts in the shower. It if does. you have like a busted wash day. <laughs> Then, yeah. you know, like the busted time of the shower, then you're going to get out and then like the, the, the styling process is going to be annoying because your hair wasn't properly cleaned and detangled. And yes. so, you know, if you can have good was, cleansers. Like a no brainer. It was really an informational video. They're very similar. They look similar. They act similar to me. And I just, you guys know I rave about them. Anyone that's familiar with the channel and has been on it for a while, you knew throughout the month of December this was my new find and I was raving about it. So I just kind of want to show you the experience because like I we always say, we're a family and when I get excited about something, I want you guys to get just as excited. So um, yeah. I just wanted to share my experience with these two shampoos. I can't make up my mind which one I like. So better. we do have an allocate code. We don't have a Sotanicals code yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have yeah. an allocate code and it's MadCurls15 for 15% off their website mm -hmm. if you're interested in the allocate. Um, black soap and yeah. check out our other Alake videos if you want to see what else you might want to shop for yeah. in that line. Um, we have so other Sultanicals videos on this channel that talks about products um, on the Sultanicals website and other Sultanicals products, but um, yeah. we just pulled these two cleansers out to show you guys the cleansers. Yeah, because I was just like, today we were thinking, what well, can we film? And I so thought, like, rationally, let's just film these. I've been talking about these and I just want to show you guys the difference because I love them both and I can't make up my mind which one I like better. And I'm like, why should I have to? I like them both. Yeah. So, and just in case anybody asks, um, what I have in my hair, like I kind of didn't want to style my hair cause I'm, I love like, this is day three and I'm loving it. So okay. this is the African pride. That video was on our channel. These are the, the styling day. Um, this is day three of that styler, the leave-in and the curling cream again. Okay. So that, does that is this. You. And this is our new Mad Curls merch. If you didn't know, we came out with Mad Curls merchandise. Yeah. And that link is in the description box. Some of our sayings that we say on the channel. We definitely say busted a lot. We do. We say busted we a lot. <laughs> Which it can go like a lot of different ways. Busted yeah. can be a term of endearment. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. always a term, oh, it's of, always endearment. A term of endearment. Or like that's a product of busted. Like, yeah. It just but didn't work for it us. Just, yeah. But. I think I call you busted. Sometimes I call you mom. Sometimes it's like busted. And you're like, yes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love this. Okay. Okay. Um. Is that it? I think that's it. That, that takes care it. of all the business for today. Yeah. Let okay. us know if you how you like this kind of video, mm -hmm. um, this kind of versus uh, type of video, looking at two different products that are similar. Right. We I think the last time we did one, it was the Camille Rose gel and the Uncle Funky's gel. We did that as like a, a comparison type of video. Right. Let us know any other products you might want to see that are kind of similar, but you're not sure and you want to see them side by side. We might right. roll out a versus series or do some videos of... Yeah. comparing two different products. Even though the Camille Rose and the Uncle Funkies was a little bit of a difference because this to me was strictly showing them the details. That one was kind of showing how it would react in hair types and length and, and all of that. To me, this is strictly informational um, about... Yeah, but you still did a demo and you, yeah, and you showed them how they like performed in the hair. Okay. So that video, we both did it, but you know, yeah. this one, you, like one of us did it and you still show how it like performed in the hair, how the Okay. They're all comparison videos, okay. just like yeah. showing the differences between two products. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and so. I mean, I think at the end of that video, we didn't really say which one was better, which one wasn't better, because we liked them both. We still mm -hmm. used both gels. And they both brought something to the table. We were just showing the differences in the gel, the prices. Same thing as this video, the prices. Yeah. What okay. you can get availability, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching this video. And we shall see you in our next video. We'll see you in our next video. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.